It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Stomach cancer in dogs and cats. Stomach cancers are rare in dogs and cats. However, affected pets usually show very few symptoms in the early stages of the disease, so it is important to know how to recognize the warning signs. 1. How does stomach cancer develop in dogs and cats? Cancer, by definition, is the growth of abnormal cells in places where normal cells should be. These abnormal neoplastic cells proliferate uncontrollably and can spread to other systems through metastasis. The cause behind the growth and development of cancer cells is not fully understood, but there are risk factors that have been shown to increase the chances of developing cancer in dogs and cats. The growth of cancer cells is usually the result of a genetic mutation of normal cells and, as such, shares some properties with normal cells, including their functions. There are different types of stomach cancer depending on the tissue from which they originate, and the treatment approach depends on the type of stomach tumor present in the pet. 2. Risk Factors Stomach cancer appears to be more common in males than females and usually begins to appear at an average age of 9 years or older. Certain breeds of dogs such as Collies, Chow Chows, and Staffordshire Terriers are at higher risk of developing stomach cancer. In cats, Siamese breeds are reported to have a higher risk of developing gastric adenocarcinomas compared to other breeds. 3. Types of Stomach Cancer in Dogs and Cats The most common stomach cancer in dogs is adenocarcinomas. They usually affect the lower third of the stomach and spread or metastasize to nearby structures, such as the lymph nodes and liver. Less common stomach cancers in dogs include lemiolomas, mast cell tumors, and lymphoma. In cats, the most common stomach cancer is lymphoma. Lymphoma in cats can be low-grade or high-grade, and both have different clinical presentations. Adenocarcinomas in a cat's stomach are rare but are biologically active and have high rates of metastasis. 4. Symptoms of Stomach Cancer in Dogs and Cats Initial clinical signs of stomach cancer cases include vomiting, anorexia, and lethargy. Vomiting is usually profuse and will contain gastric acid and occasionally blood. Abdominal pain may also be present in pets with stomach cancer. If the tumor grows or is located near the pylorus, which is the segment of the stomach that opens to the small intestine, an obstruction may occur, which can lead to profuse vomiting and, eventually, weight loss. In some cases, stomach cancer can cause a decrease in the body's blood sugar level, causing severe weakness, tremors, and possible seizures. Some types of stomach cancer can cause chronic damage to the stomach wall and lead to gastric perforations. Damage along the lining of the stomach causes bleeding that may be seen in vomit or may show up as black, tarry stools. Perforations along the gastric wall will cause gastric contents to leak into the abdominal cavity, causing peritonitis, a condition that can be fatal if not treated immediately. 5. How are stomach cancers diagnosed? Dogs exhibiting general signs of gastrointestinal problems such as vomiting, lethargy, and inappetence will undergo basic diagnostic testing, such as blood tests and diagnostic imaging. Diagnostic imaging, such as contrast x-ray, may show signs of possible obstruction or growths along the gastrointestinal tract. The ideal test to visualize stomach cancer is endoscopy. It allows for more accurate and descriptive visualization of growths, tissue damage, and perforation along the mucosal lining of the stomach. The definitive diagnosis will come from gastric biopsies. A biopsy test is a process of obtaining tissue samples from any part of the body for analysis. This procedure helps confirm whether the growths seen on the surface of the stomach are cancerous or not. Another way to obtain samples of stomach tumors is through exploratory laparotomy. Unlike endoscopic biopsy procedures, exploratory laparotomy will involve a surgical incision to access the abdominal organs. Regardless of the method, samples taken can be sent to a histopathology laboratory for confirmatory diagnosis and staging of stomach cancer in both dogs and cats. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.